right, I wanted to take just a, a little bit of time to kind of introduce you to test out, kind of show you around, show you what, what, it, uh, what it does and all those kinds of things, how to get registered and kind of get you started on that path. So this is our shell, depending on which section you're in, things like that, the, the information might be slightly different, but for the most part, you should be able to follow along with this. So under homework, the homework section here, you'll see uh, this information right in here. What we're going to focus on is this part here over test out. And you'll see that it's got all of uh, the information about this. Specifically, the, the information you really need to kind of focus in on is right here. So um, this is a promotion code that you'll need. Um, that'll reduce the price from, I think it's $495 down to, I believe it's $89. Um, the course that you're going to be taking within test out, the class that's associated with with uh, my course within a test out. Um, again, this part might be slightly different depending on the section that you're in. In this case, I'm, I'm doing section one. Uh, if you're in section three, this, this number right here would actually be a three. It'll also ask you for the university that, that you're associated with, so copy and paste that, and the professor that you're taking. So that's right there. So your license is good for 18 months. So if you want to go back and play around with some of this, if you're looking to take the Network Plus certification after the semester is over, you can certainly come back and, and play around in the test out course and help to prepare for that. Uh, it's completely up to you. But let's start out by going to um, to test out. This is what the home page will look like right here. When you go to register, first thing I would do is copy and paste this right here. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to scroll down and paste that in right there and click purchase. And what that's going to do is then take us to another page and it shows the academic pricing for with that uh, promotion code in there. The course that we're interested in taking is the Test Out Network Pro course right here. So you're going to add that to your cart and you'll see it's $89. You can go ahead and continue shopping, check out, all those kinds of things. And at this point, if you're a returning customer, you can just log right on in. If you're a new customer, you'll start to fill out your information here. Now, this is not the same as creating an account. This is just making the actual purchase here. So when you complete this information here um, and you complete your purchase, you'll be given a code. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here in just a second. This is where you would paste in that username or that, excuse me, the university name and instructor's name. So you'll paste those in right there, and then you can go ahead and, and, and keep on moving through the process. When you complete your purchase, one of the things that you're going to be given is an activation code. That activation code is what allows you to create or associate your purchase with your actual account. So when you go back to create your account, you'll create a login. I, I like to use my, my uh, email address, for example. You'll create a password, your, your name, information, and you'll paste that activation code right in there. Beyond that is where you'll actually associate the class name with your account in, inside of, of Test Out. Unfortunately, I can't show that to you. I don't have access to that side of things, but that's kind of what that whole process looks like. So what does Lab Sim actually look like or Test Out actually look like inside of the the application itself. Well, we'll go ahead and log on in and see if I can't put my correct information in. And now that I'm logged in, I'm going to click on my products here. And yours is going to look a little bit different. I've got a number of products associated with my account. You, unless you've done this before, unless you have other products, you'll just have this Network Pro associated with your account. So when you first log in, you're going to end up seeing this right here. It'll be, you'll be uh, uh, introduced to the very first part of, of the Network Pro course. And this first section is really just kind of showing you around the test out course. So it talks about how to use the simulator, um, it goes through a, an interactive 
video in which they try to, to discuss it with you. Um, you can either play the video or you can play it with an interactive script. I personally like this second one and I'll play it here just for a second so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. Some of the key components of your test out training are the lab activities. In this demonstration, I'm going to show So you can kind of get an idea of, of what that looks like there. They, they do demonstrations, they do presentations, the, they provide you with various notes, and then they do little short quizzes, usually three, four, five questions. Sometimes there's more, but a lot of times there are three or four uh, multiple choice questions. And then they have what I think is the most valuable part of this are labs that they do. And it's those little short quizzes and labs that constitute your homework grade. So let's open up the lab here. What you're going to see is a simulated environment. And the simulated environment kind of gives you a rundown of what's going on, what the issue is at hand, and then you, your job is to go through and, and troubleshoot or fix the issue that they happen to be having. So this is kind of your lab environment. You've got different rooms that you're going to have. In this case, the, the, you're really only working with two different rooms. And you'll see that you've got different kinds of icons here. So you've got, in this case, a computer, and you've got a couple of operating systems. Uh, over here, you've got another computer as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this room here in the office here. So when you click on that, it brings you into that office. You can see that you've got the computer, you've got different wall plates and things like that. This is your shelf over here. You can click on that and see the different devices that you have on your shelf. Some of the labs, you, you'll have more devices than you really need. So you, ha you have to pick the, the correct device to use. If you want to see the back of the computer so you can plug things up, um, you can, can do that there. Um, let's say, for example, we've got this power cord right here. You, when I click on that, you can see it highlights there. And over here, you can see where it's plugged in. If I want to disconnect it, I can unplug it. Now the computer's not plugged in anymore. But I want to plug it back in. So there we go. If I want to see the motherboard, we'll come back to that actually here in just a second. Uh, so you can flip back to the front, and you can see your other wall plates and all of those kinds of things. So if you need to, for example, add a, a card to the motherboard or memory or something like that, you can click on motherboard and it will show you the inside of the computer. Let's go back to the overall floor plan and let's go over here and take a look at this. So now it actually takes you into the operating system for that particular server. So you'll see you've got all that there. It looks pretty similar to what you might see if it was actually a Windows Server. Um, not every feature works, but most of them do. It allows you to go and make mistakes. And once you complete the lab, you simply click up there, it's going to come back and it's going to tell you what you did wrong. And this is really valuable, especially if, you, if you're really unsure where to start. Just go through the process and hit done first thing. That way it'll come back and it'll give you this information. You can go through and you can look through the detailed instructions which really gives you a much more detail as far as what, what it is you actually need to do. Um, sometimes they're a little tricky where you click things like that are a little odd they don't quite work the way they should in a real live environment uh, so keep playing with it. I've been through this course myself um, it everything works it, 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 it's really really pretty good. So that's kind of the lab environment your score report is going to be right there if you want to click on that and bring that back up. And that's, that's what there is there. Um, let's see, what else do I want to show you here? Um, one of the things you should note, the homework assignments are not necessarily in order. So the very first one is over Lab Sim 1. But then I think we skip down to uh, Lab Sim 6 is for homework 2, I believe. Let's, back and look at that real quick. Yeah, homework 2 is Lab Sim 6. So you, they don't necessarily go in order. I skip around a little bit to follow the textbook, so keep that in mind. Um, come back over here and look at home real quick. 
and I believe you should have a reports tab here. Yours is going to look a little bit different than mine, but you should be able to bring up your scores. Um, and when you bring up your scores, what I want you to do is it'll you'll be able to download a spreadsheet and insert that spreadsheet into your shared Google folder that we've created as part of Homework Zero. And then to, for, to actually submit your assignment to be done with it, I want you to come over here. And in this case, this is Homework 1. So type in HW1 highlight it or actually pardon me come to write submission type in HW1 highlight it click the link button there paste the link to that document that you've placed in your homework zero or, or uh, shared Google folder set it to open into a new window and click OK or insert I should say then come down here and click submit and you're all done. That's how you, you do that. It's a way for me to verify that you've actually completed it. I can actually log into test out, but every now and then I get a report that um, um, a student has done their homework and it's not showing up in test out. If you submit this file, that's kind of a backup. It allows me to verify you really did do it for some reason. It didn't get caught in, in the test out report some, for some reason. So be sure and do that. If you don't submit that, that uh, that Excel file, I don't have any proof. You're, you're going to take a zero on that, that particular assignment. So let's try to avoid that. So that is the test out environment. We really do like it. Um, it, it, it we've had a lot of positive feedback from students. Um, so take advantage of it. it. It's really a helpful tool. Hopefully it gives you a little bit different perspective about networking than what I can give you. I can give you my perspective. You can read the text and get their perspective. And this is yet another perspective. So hopefully somewhere along the line some of these things are clicking for you. So until next time, take care. Have a good one.